Hi everyone, it's Lena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you have an amazing morning, evening, or night because you're awesome and you deserve it. Today's date is January 30th, 2021. And I know it's been over a week, but the time is currently 10.50 a.m. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all what I eat in a weekend. Now, I was going to do what I eat in a day, but I figured it would probably be a little bit short. Also, make sure to be on the lookout for a video coming out in two to three weeks. There may be another video between those two dates, but I am definitely filming a certain video for you all because it's going to be really exciting for me and I definitely want to share it with all of you. And yeah, so before we get into the video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, everyone, so before I show you all what I, exactly what I eat and drink in a day, I wanted to mention one more thing. So at first glance, it may or may not look like I eat a whole ton of food 24 seven, seven days a week but always had rolls and cankles and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I just, you, this is definitely gonna be a real messy video because I'm not gonna put up a front for a camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And usually in real life, like at the moment, I don't, I usually eat maybe like twice a day, like two meals a day because I'm not really a big breakfast person. Um, so yeah, but I just really eat what makes me happy. But yeah that's pretty much it and then i'm actually hungry this morning for once so i'm going to eat some breakfast and with that being said let's go so the first thing i had for that day was one red popsicle from the freezer and some frozen tyson chicken nuggets and frozen nathan onion rings and i used any sauce of my choice and i chose polynesian sauce from chick-fil-a they sell it in a bottle at walmart and i cooked all of it in a 400 degree air fryer for about 12 to 14 minutes i finished my popsicle and then i had two thin mints because they're really delicious and they're seasoned this time of year and that is how my food looked And a little bit later, I had a Capri Sun. I love the Pacific Cool flavor. Then I wanted something sweet, so I chose a little plate of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I don't eat it very often, but at that time, it was really sweet and delicious for me. Then I had a half a bag of popcorn and a Cosmic Brownie. Okay, everyone, so that marks what I eat for a regular Saturday in my life and I know it was like a bunch of little different things but technically I only ate like one genuine meal and that was this morning and I know I said it was going to be breakfast but honestly like I said I just eat what makes me happy at the moment and that was chicken nuggets <laughs> so that's what I had and then yeah I'm currently eating my brownie right now I'm almost done and yeah, that's pretty much it. So with that being said, I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Okay, y'all. So it is only 9.34 and I found this in my pantry. So we're going to make some hot chocolate. This is marshmallow flavor. So this might, this pretty much is going to be the last thing I have for the night. But yeah, let's, let's make some. Okay, so I guess hot chocolate is pretty easy to make. I've made it all the time. I just wanted to make it for you all since this video. I don't want this video to be super duper short. I just have this red cup and I'm gonna fill it with water. So. In the microwave. And it usually, for me, takes about three minutes for my water to heat up, so. Okay, so while that's heating up in the microwave, comment down below what your favorite drink is. The top three definitely have to be coffee, water, and tea. I know it's really weird. I sound like an old person kind of drinking things like that. But that's what I prefer to drink because most of them are really sweet with the exception of water. And, yeah, they're just really good. <laughs> I just, it depends on which kind you're drinking and everything like that, but they're just really tasty to me. So if that's what I like, comment down below.
A few moments later. Okay, y'all, so I completely forgot that you could add milk. <laughs> but I'd like this dollar anyway, so it's probably not the best for me. So I'm just gonna see with the water and I'm gonna add a splash of milk at the end. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna pour this packet in and yeah, let's do that now. Okay, hush sure. So do y'all ever have that feeling that well that you're hoping that there's a good bit of marshmallows in here? Like in your hot chocolate mix or whatnot. Because I don't have any marshmallows at the time in the pantry or anything. But that's all of it. It's not a whole lot. But I'm going to mix this up now. So Mix, mix, mix. Also, I'm going to share some of this with my sister. Because I can't, I know definitely that I could not drink all of this by myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how it's looking. So it's nothing too, too special. I really did forget that I could add enough to it. And honestly, it just looks like a really dark coffee. I have, I can't tell you the last time I've had hot chocolate, but yeah, let's give this a taste. Okay, so if it's not sweet enough, I'm definitely going to add some sugar. So I just got a little bit of food. I know it's kind of hot. It needs some, it needs some sweetener. It tastes like a little slightly unsweetened chocolate in a, in a cup or something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to go my pantry up and the sugar my mom uses is like Splenda, but I like the sugar blend, so it's like part sugar, part Splenda. That's what I like. So it is officially done. It all the marsh, the mini marshmallows already melted out of it, and I didn't really add too too much sugar, maybe like a tablespoon and a half of it. So I'm gonna put this back, and I'm gonna show you all like the final result and everything like that. Once again, I don't have marshmallows, <laughs> like just big ones or anything like that. But my sister wants some as well, so I'm just gonna split this one in half with her, and we'll show you all what it tastes like. Okay, y'all. So me and my sister tried it. And honestly, I give it like a good six. I did, not six. A eight out of ten, mainly because it's on my part. But I don't have any extra marshmallows at home, so I do like it because I add a little bit of sugar, like I showed you, and it's a little bit sweeter. Like I said, I haven't had hot chocolate in a while, and I forgot to add milk, but it's all right. So it's not like a richer kind of hot chocolate, but it's just smooth. Okay, everyone, so it is Sunday, and I'm not going to lie, I forgot to record, and it is currently 1.15 in the afternoon. Now, before I go with the rest of the things that I eat for today and for the rest of the weekend, basically, I had Lucky Charm cereal about 9.30, 9.45 this morning. Then I had one Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies because they're really delicious, and a slice of turkey, and right now I'm eating like a salad like a garden salad my mom made and i'm about to eat maybe a slice or two of pizza that i have in the oven but it's not ready yet but i will show you all when it comes out okay everyone so i finished my salad a few minutes ago and then this other pizza look it is a stuffed crust pizza um it's just like one of those frozen pizzas that you get like from walmart and it's stuffed crust with pepperoni and roasted tomatoes on top and then i have this diet sun kissed orange soda so i'm just gonna eat this and i'll come back with you later and this was my steak and potatoes dinner okay everyone so i thank you so so much for making this at the end of the video and make sure you like comment share subscribe and with that being said i'll see you in the next video bye